It's been a while since I made a video like this. Since my Good Morning Rachel video, my medicine cabinet has beefed up a little bit. My evening regimen's a little different. You know, it's the time when you want to go out, jazz it up a little bit, and it's not necessarily about like long-term skincare. It's about short-term looking good. So the first thing you want to do is scrub your lips. I'm using Bite. This is an agave sugar lip scrub. I don't want crusty lips. And I don't know if you guys have heard of Paula's Choice, but it's an amazing resource if you guys are looking more into natural ingredients. Her and her team do a lot of review on tons of beauty products and they gave Bite five stars. I'm gonna wash my face with 100% Pure. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of this brand. This makes your skin feel super plump and awesome right before putting makeup on. All right, next I'm gonna put on a face mask. All the stuff that Dr. Barbara Stroh makes is absolutely amazing. She does everything on a scientific molecular level and there's just seriously the most top-end products I've used. I know this is probably out of people's budget but if you are in your late 20s now and you want to prevent I strongly suggest investing in her line. And then while my face mask is on I am also gonna do a lip mask. My skin and even my lips have been really really dry this season. So you sleep with this on, take it off in the morning and your lips are brand new. No matter how crusty, chab your lips are, it's amazing. This will be on for about 10 minutes. I don't really wear things that have tons of active ingredients in it like serums and stuff when I go out because I'm gonna wash my face again at night and I feel like it's kind of a waste of product. So I use moisturizers that kind of feel like a really, really good primer and my favorite so far has been the La Mer Soft Lotion. My mom always got it for Christmas and she always got it in a jar and it was always really thick and heavy and I never liked it. This one's really awesome because it's a pump and it's not as heavy as a cream so it's really beautiful on the skin as a primer before your makeup and it makes your skin look super, super hydrated. Looking and feeling much better already. So I do my hair kind of the same as I would during the day, but I always make sure that if I know I have an event, I'm on day two or day three hair. You just have to kind of straighten underneath. Give it a little curl. I mean, this is only if you have like crazy frizzy hair like I do. All right, now that all the lotion's set in and our face is a little sticky, you can go for makeup. Okay, I put Kojundo all over my face in little dots. I get so many compliments when I wear it because it makes your skin look like skin. And this one has really, really good coverage. And then I've been using this forever. This is Bobbi Brown in Smoke. The trick to really good eyebrows is to not get up to the mirror and kind of do it from afar. So you want to do like really, really thin strokes. I don't have a lot of brow hair, so I feel like I've done all the tricks of the trade. So I like to take clean fingers and then just smudge off any mistakes just to clean up the line a little bit. My face is a little tacky, so I'm gonna powder it off. I'm using Le Mer. Oop, oop. I only powder where I want my makeup to Day, which is in the T-zone. Notice I haven't concealed yet. I usually like to have a matte surface. That said, let's just conceal a little bit. I am using 100% Pure in Peach Bisque. Okay. There's this really bomb avocado toast I love. And all the ingredients in it is super, super basic. But for some reason, this avocado toast tastes so, so unbelievably good. And they told me that it's the order you put stuff in. You don't wanna put olive oil directly on the bread because then you can't taste the olive oil. Same thing kind of with makeup. First you want it really tacky and then get all like the creamy stuff on, set that and then put something else on. So I really love this brow finisher from MAC. It makes your brows stick down and somehow it makes all your strokes look really natural. But then I go back again and fix any of the spots that the wax took off. We're going out tonight and you want them to stay in all night. This is Glossier's Boy Brow in Brown. I also like to put in the corners of my eye and wing it out. Natural looking eyeliner. Now, using my new Bobbi Brown uh, bronze my face. I've learned um, that creating a halo effect around your face is really gonna warm it up and then just give you like a really natural looking contour. And then Marc Jacobs blush, and that was my cheek. I'm gonna put like this pinkish champagne color on my eyelids. These kind of coat your lashes and give you a little bit of extra length. I like that this wand has like a comb on it. All right, last but not least, let's put some balm on. 
is also from the Bite Agave collection. Wow, my lip color looks good even right now. Does this have color in it? I'm going for va va boom tonight. Okay, so I like to just put a little bit of color on, right? But since my lips have balm on, I'm just gonna blur my lip color to the edges of my lips. I want it to look melted in. This is a nice way to make your lips look chubby. Voila, welcome to my closet. But first, deodorant. This is from No Tox Life. I'm gonna go with Jo Malone, Wood Sage, and Sea Salt. I'm almost ready. I always need to brush my teeth before I leave. I got a clutch here for the evening. This is what I'm bringing to touch up. Balm, lipstick of course. I always like to bring concealer to touch up my face if needed and a little emergency perfume. All right guys, I'm heading out. Thank you so much for getting ready with me and off we go. Bye guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.